Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. To the shock of her family, a prominent Coronation Street figure is about to confess to the murder of Joel Deering. In early October, Joel's body was discovered floating in a river, according to the pathologist's findings, he had been slain before falling into the water. Numerous suspects have been implicated in the case since then, raising questions about who might be at fault. One suspect, however, is expected to come forward and confess all in later scenes. DC since DS Lisa Swain was removed from Joel's murder case, Kit Green has been in charge of it, although he hasn't made any headway thus far. He confronts his supervisor in later scenes after discovering an unsent message on her phone that implies she wanted Joel dead. Because Joel exploited Lisa's daughter Betsy Swain to obtain abortion pills in an attempt to terminate Lauren Bolton's pregnancy, viewers will be aware that Lisa was one of many individuals directly impacted by Joel's misdeeds. When Lisa is later called to the station, Kit, who is suspicious, demands to know where she was the night Joel died. But is he doing appropriately? Apparently not, since D.D. Bailey eventually breaks down and confesses to Ed Bailey that she killed Joel in another place. Viewers may recall a recent flashback in which D.D. was seen carrying a crowbar into Joel's car, only to see him sitting inside, before cleaning the blood off the weapon. Since that awful night, she has also been clearly grappling with her guilt. Ed disagrees with D.D.'s claim that she will turn herself in to the police. Will he be successful in trying to talk her out of it? Spoilers for tonight's Coronation Street, which hasn't yet broadcast on television but is currently accessible on. In a shocking new flashback, Coronation Street revealed its fifth official suspect in the murder case of Joel Deering. Viewers ultimately discovered the truth about D.S. Lisa Swain's whereabouts on the night of Joel's death, as well as the enigmatic injury she has been concealing, in tonight's episode. It was impossible to ignore Lisa's extreme anguish in the episode that followed Joel's departure, and many fans speculated that she may have been in a fight with Joel. When Joel's threats against Betsy Swain were revealed, Lisa was removed from Joel's investigation and replaced by DC Kit Green, who carried on with her police duties in the most recent episode of the ITV soap opera. Dealing with the theft of a catalytic converter and vehicle damage left Lisa feeling less than impressed, but the case quickly took a turn she hadn't anticipated. Lisa became intrigued when she discovered that the automobile had been damaged on the night of Joel's murder and that the damaged vehicle just so happened to be on the same road as Joel's apartment. Lisa pledged that evening to have forensics examine the car's scratches in the hopes of identifying any clues that would identify Joel's murderer. To Dee Dee Bailey's dismay, she confronted Ronnie Bailey in the Rovers after finding out that his red car, played by Vinta Morgan, had gone in for repairs. After the altercation, Lisa bemoaned coming on too strongly with Ronnie in the bistro with Carla Connor. Carla rushed over to embrace her in an attempt to console her, but Lisa recoiled and quickly walked away. Even though Carla was upset and perplexed by the response, viewers quickly learned the true motive for Lisa's actions, which was far more sinister than Carla had initially thought. Lisa looked at some ugly-looking bruises in the bathroom mirror that evening before recalling what had happened the night Joel died. In a flashback, she was seen chasing someone through the precinct while brandishing her police baton and screaming at them to stop. She pushed forward with the baton while a car engine roared in the background, but it's still unclear what happened next. That night, was she pursuing Joel? Was he attacked by her? Is Lisa Joel's murderer? Even though D.D. Bailey will confess to Joel Deering's murder in a future episode, a previous moment on Coronation Street might have disqualified her as the murderer. Spoilers for the soap opera on ITV When the remorse overwhelms her, D.D. plans to confess to killing Joel. In scenes that will air next week, she will be devastated by the tragedy and break down and tell her father Ed the truth. Following a recent flashback in which she was seen pursuing Joel, D.D. will acknowledge that she was the one who attacked and killed him with a crowbar. Additionally, it showed her sobbing and yelling as she cleaned her hands and the weapon of blood. Viewers have seen her acting oddly ever then, which has made Kit Green believe she is the murderer. Dee Dee promises to turn herself into the police and confess to killing Joel after telling her father. Ed tries to keep his daughter from telling everything, but will he be successful? However, according to the mirror, there is now a possibility that Dee Dee is not the murderer. In the ITV soap opera, a killer reveal is typically kept under wraps until the episode airs, at which point the truth is revealed. However, a scenario from weeks ago might disqualify D.D.
Detective Kit may have revealed further details concerning Joel's death after his body was discovered in a river. Joel was pushed or fell into the river after being attacked with a large object, such as a crowbar, according to Kit. He was unquestionably slain because it was established that he passed away before reaching the sea. The odd thing is that Kit made a point of highlighting Joel's two fatal head injuries, implying that he was attacked twice. Joel may have been killed if, of course, one person had used the same weapon to deliver both blows. However, Kit's emphasis on these two head injuries gives the impression that he was struck by two people. Given that Joel would have been hit by someone else as well, does this imply that DD is innocent? Unless, of course, this second person was DD. It coincides with rumors that the murderer will be identified as either DS Lisa Swain or her daughter Betsy. Following clues in recent episodes, both characters are suspected of being Joel's killer. Tonight's Coronation Street episode dropped a game-changing twist in the Joel Deering murder investigation, with DS Lisa Swain stepping into the spotlight as the fifth official suspect. In an intense flashback scene, the police detective's mysterious injuries and her shady actions on the night of Joel's death have left viewers reeling and desperate for answers. The night in question, Lisa's painful secret comes to light. As tonight's episode unfolded, it was hard to miss Lisa's visible pain and uncharacteristic flinching, behavior that's left fans questioning if she was involved in a violent encounter that night. When DS Lisa Swain initially took on Joel's case, she seemed calm and focused, but that has slowly unraveled. Following Joel's threats against Betsy Swain, Lisa was reassigned to more mundane duties. Yet, the look in her eyes suggested her mind was elsewhere. Could she be concealing more than just physical pain? A suspicious confrontation with Ronnie Bailey. When a damaged vehicle is reported on the same street as Joel's flat, Lisa is immediately drawn to the case. Her interest peaks when she learns that the car scratches happened on the night of Joel's murder. This sends her to confront Ronnie Bailey, who recently had his red car repaired. Her confrontation at the Rovers with Ronnie doesn't go unnoticed, especially by Dee Dee Bailey, who appears horrified by the accusation. But why is Lisa so determined to pin something on Ronnie? Could she be projecting her own guilt onto him, or does she genuinely suspect him of foul play? Carla's unintended discovery and Lisa's hidden bruises. Later, Lisa drowns her frustrations at the bistro with Carla Connor, expressing regret over her tense confrontation with Ronnie. Carla's attempt to comfort her with a friendly hug backfires as Lisa visibly flinches. Viewers quickly learn why Lisa is hiding severe bruises on her arms, an injury she's clearly not ready to discuss. As Carla looks on, confused and hurt, Lisa quickly leaves, further heightening the mystery. Once she's alone, Lisa finally reveals the extent of her injuries, studying her painful bruises in a mirror. Her reaction suggests these aren't accidental. Flashbacks of that fateful night reveal that Lisa had been in a struggle, one so intense it left her with significant injuries. Was this altercation with Joel, or was it with someone else who was present that night? The flashback scene, chasing shadows and dark intentions. In the climactic flashback scene, viewers witness Lisa in a desperate chase through the precinct, yelling for someone to stop as she clutches her police baton. The sight of a revving car engine in the background leaves viewers with even more questions. Was Lisa pursuing Joel, intending to confront him? Or was she embroiled in a dangerous game of cat and mouse with someone else? The scene is cut short, leaving the events of that night steeped in ambiguity. But the implication is clear, Lisa is hiding something dark and possibly deadly. Could she have delivered the fatal blow that ended Joel's life? Or did she merely stumble onto the scene, inadvertently becoming a key witness to his murder? Unanswered questions, what really happened to Joel? The list of suspects in Joel's murder has grown longer, with each new revelation bringing more questions than answers. Lisa's mysterious injuries and evasive behavior make her a prime suspect, but she's far from the only one with a motive. While she's officially the fifth suspect, there are still plenty of other residents of Weatherfield whose motives, and alibis, are less than airtight. Was Joel's murder a crime of passion? A struggle gone too far? Or was it a calculated attack by someone who knew his every move? Here are the lingering questions as the investigation heats up. Who was Lisa chasing that night, and why? Was it Joel, or was there another figure lurking in the shadows? What role does Ronnie Bailey's car play in the puzzle? 
Could the scratched vehicle hold clues about Joel's killer, or is it another red herring? Why is Lisa keeping her bruises hidden? Is it guilt, fear, or something even darker that's causing her to conceal her injuries? What exactly happened in that flashback? Will we see more of that night, or is Lisa hoping to keep it buried? Theories abound, could Lisa really be the killer? Coronation Street fans are abuzz with theories, speculating wildly about Lisa's role in Joel's death. Some believe Lisa may have been trying to protect someone, while others think she could be the killer, her police training perhaps giving her the tools to evade suspicion. And then there's the question of motive, what drove Lisa to such lengths on that fateful night? As the investigation into Joel's death ramps up, Lisa's future hangs in the balance. Will she be able to keep her secrets, or will her hidden bruises and midnight chases come back to haunt her? What's next for DS Lisa Swain? The dramatic events of tonight's episode have set the stage for an explosive continuation to this murder mystery. With Lisa now a prime suspect, her every move is under scrutiny, and her relationships with her colleagues and friends will be tested. Will she manage to keep her secrets hidden? Or will her involvement in Joel's death come to light, forcing her to face the consequences? Tune into Coronation Street to watch the mystery unfold as the cobbles become a battleground of secrets, lies, and shocking revelations. Just when you thought things couldn't get more intense, Coronation Street has shown us there's always more lurking beneath the surface. In a jaw-dropping twist, Coronation Street fans are in for a huge reveal as D.D. Bailey, Shanique Sterling Brown, confesses to the murder of Joel Deering. But is she really the killer? Spoilers show D.D. breaking down and admitting her guilt to her father, Ed, as the burden becomes too much to bear. However, a past scene may have already proven her innocence, leaving viewers to question everything they thought they knew. Today, we're dissecting every clue, every hidden detail, and every theory that suggests D.D. may not be the one who ended Joel's life. Buckle up, because this mystery has more layers than anyone expected. Scene 1, D.D.'s confession, is she really the killer? Cut to scene of D.D. crying as she confesses to Ed. Narrator, in upcoming scenes, D.D. Bailey reaches her breaking point. Overcome with guilt, she admits to Ed that she attacked Joel with a crowbar, later shown in a flashback scrubbing blood off the weapon and her hands. But if D.D. really is the killer, why are fans still doubting her confession? The answer lies in a previous episode. In an intriguing flashback, Detective Kit Green dropped a clue that may have unknowingly ruled out D.D. as the murderer. Scene 2, The Clue in Kit Green's Statement Narrator, the mystery thickened weeks ago when Kit Green examined Joel's body and reported that he had suffered two fatal blows to the head with a heavy object, likely a crowbar. More than that, Joel's injuries hinted that he was struck twice before his body was found in the river. While it's possible for one person to land two blows, fans noticed the way Kit emphasized the two hits, almost as if it were a deliberate hint that more than one person was involved. Display Kit's statement on screen, Joel was struck twice on the head with a heavy item before he hit the water. Narrator, the specificity here is what's caught viewers' attention. Could there be another person who delivered one of those fatal blows? And if so, does that mean Dee Dee only played a part in Joel's death rather than being the sole killer? Scene 3, Dee Dee's weird behavior, guilt or something more? Narrator, since the incident, D.D. has been acting out of character, leading Kit Green and others to suspect her. But could her weird behavior simply be her grappling with guilt over witnessing, or possibly even contributing to, Joel's death without being the primary killer? Cue clip of D.D. having anxious conversations and avoiding eye contact. Narrator, fans are divided. Some think D.D.'s behavior is the telltale sign of a killer carrying a heavy burden. Others argue that she may feel guilty about not stopping an attack or perhaps being present when Joel was struck, without actually delivering the final blow. With the crime becoming more complex, the theory of a second person being involved is starting to hold more weight. Scene 4, Speculation of D.S. Lisa Swain and Betsy's Involvement Cut to scenes of D.S. Lisa Swain and Betsy showing signs of tension in recent episodes. Narrator, amid D.D.'s confession, fans have begun to speculate that D.S. Lisa Swain or her daughter Betsy could be the true culprit. D.S. Swain has been acting strangely lately, showing signs of physical pain and avoiding questions related to Joel's case. Betsy, on the other hand, has been struggling with anger and grief. 
Is it possible that one of them was involved in Joel's murder? Fan theory, I think Lisa or Betsy may have been the one to hit Joel. Dee Dee's confession feels like she's covering for someone, maybe even both of them. Narrator, this speculation has led viewers to wonder if Dee Dee could be protecting D.S. Swain, Betsy, or both. With D.S. Swain's mysterious injuries and her daughter's volatile emotions, it's not far-fetched to think they may be involved in Joel's death. Scene 5, Dee Dee's possible innocence, a cover-up for a friend? Cue scene of Dee Dee talking to Carla, looking tense. Narrator, there's a growing theory that Dee Dee might be sacrificing herself to protect someone close to her. Dee Dee is known for her strong loyalty and empathy, traits that could push her to cover for someone she cares about deeply. Could Dee Dee be confessing to shield D.S. Swain, a close friend, or even Betsy from legal consequences? Display fans' theory on screen, maybe Dee Dee isn't guilty but feels responsible. I think she's protecting Lisa and Betsy. Scene 6, The Double Blow Theory, Evidence of Multiple Attackers? Narrator, returning to the crime scene analysis, let's consider the significance of the double blow theory. Joel was struck twice, and the pattern of his injuries suggests it could have been done by more than one person. If Dee Dee delivered the first blow in a moment of anger or self-defense, could someone else have delivered the fatal second strike? Display theory on screen, if there were two attackers, it could explain Dee Dee's guilt without her being the true killer. Maybe Lisa finished what Dee Dee started. Narrator, this theory points toward a potential joint attack, with Dee Dee perhaps only partially responsible. Could her guilt stem from the knowledge that her actions unintentionally led to Joel's death? Fans are watching closely to see if this chilling theory will be confirmed. Scene 7, Ed's attempt to stop the confession. Cut to scene of Ed trying to calm Dee Dee down. Narrator, in the coming episodes, we'll see Ed trying to prevent Dee Dee from turning herself in. Could Ed know something that we don't? Perhaps he's aware of other details, casting doubt on her confession, or he suspects that Dee Dee might not be as guilty as she believes. Ed's desperation to protect his daughter may hint at a deeper layer to the case. Narrator, as the tension mounts, fans are eagerly awaiting to see if Ed's efforts to protect Dee Dee reveal a hidden truth. Could his intervention lead to a shocking twist that clears Dee Dee's name entirely? Narrator, with Dee Dee's shocking confession on the horizon, the mystery of Joel Deering's death is more complex than ever. Is Dee Dee truly guilty, or could she be protecting someone close to her? Could DS Lisa Swain or her daughter Betsy be the real culprits, hiding in the shadows while Dee Dee shoulders the blame? And what role does Ed play in all of this? The possibility of multiple attackers, Dee Dee's potential innocence, and DS Swain's suspicious behavior are setting the stage for a massive reveal. As fans eagerly await the next twist, one thing's for sure, Coronation Street is keeping everyone on the edge of their seats. Narrator, which theory do you believe? Do you think Dee Dee is innocent, or could she be the true killer? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and be sure to subscribe for all the latest Coronation Street updates. This mystery is far from over, and we can't wait to see what unfolds next on the cobbles. 10. What's next? Shocking predictions for David and the Cobble's future. The explosive revelations on the horizon could lead David into some of the darkest territory he's ever faced. From possible run-ins with the law to deep fractures within his family, David's secrets are inching closer to the surface. And as Shona's patience wears thin, fans are left wondering, will David lose everything? Stay tuned, Coronation Street fans! This isn't just a storyline, it's a ticking time bomb waiting to go off. With secrets, betrayals, and shocking returns, next week's episodes are set to be unforgettable. Grab the popcorn because you won't want to miss a second of this epic drama. Will David's lies finally catch up with him, or can he somehow escape and scathed? Only time will tell on the cobbles. A Night of Chaos, D.S. Lisa Swain's Secrets Uncovered Tonight, viewers were finally clued in on the whereabouts of D.S. Lisa Swain on the night of Joel's untimely death. For weeks, fans have speculated about her involvement, especially as they watched her struggle with mysterious injuries that have left many questioning whether she played a role in the shocking murder. In the harrowing scenes that unfolded after Joel's disappearance, it became clear that Lisa was in considerable pain. Could this pain be a result of an altercation with Joel himself? 
As tensions rose and suspicions grew, Lisa continued her police work, although her reassignment off Joel's case to DC Kit Green raised eyebrows. The stakes escalated as Joel's threats against Betsy Swain came to light, suggesting a much deeper connection than anyone had anticipated. The Catalytic Converter Conundrum As if the situation weren't complicated enough, Lisa found herself tangled in an investigation involving a stolen catalytic converter and damage to a vehicle. While she initially seemed disinterested, her focus shifted dramatically when she discovered that the damaged vehicle was parked on the same street as Joel's flat. This revelation piqued her interest and set off alarm bells. Could the damage provide clues to Joel's killer? Determined to get to the bottom of it, Lisa promised to call in forensics to examine the scratches on the car, hoping to find critical evidence that could lead her to the truth. A confrontation at the Rovers, Lisa's Dilemma Things escalated when Lisa confronted Ronnie Bailey at the Rovers, revealing her keen suspicions regarding his red car, which had been in for repairs. The tension in the air was palpable, especially as D.D. Bailey stood by in shock, witnessing the confrontation unfold. It was clear that Lisa's probing questions were unsettling the Baileys, but what was driving her to press so hard? After the heated exchange, Lisa met with Carla Connor at the bistro to vent her frustrations. However, the encounter took a strange turn when Carla attempted to comfort Lisa with a hug, only for Lisa to flinch and pull away. This moment was both startling and revealing, leaving viewers to wonder what secrets Lisa was truly hiding. Bruises and flashbacks, the truth is out there. Once alone, Lisa faced her painful reality. In her bathroom, she examined the bruises marring her skin, a grim reminder of the chaotic night in question. As she gazed into the mirror, the flashbacks began to unfold. Viewers were taken back to that fateful night when Lisa was seen chasing someone through the precinct, baton in hand, shouting for them to stop. The tension mounted as the rev of a car engine echoed ominously in the background. Just when it seemed Lisa was about to confront her adversary, the screen faded to black, leaving audiences on the edge of their seats. Did she actually catch up with Joel that night? Did their paths cross in a way that could lead to murder?